What's going on guys? This is Gaines Gaming. How's everyone doing? I think it's been two months since I last did a live stream. Because I think the last time I went live was this last KVK in Kingsland. Neptune, how's it going? I'm going to share this out to Discord and Facebook real quick. How's it going, Troy? Bojlava, how's it going? Who all watched my uh, hoarding video already? I posted that, what, yesterday? That one's been doing really well. People like watching hoarders open their stuff, it seems like. Because <laughs> every single time I post one of those videos, people absolutely love it. So I'll probably turn this one into a video as well, to be honest. Because I have a lot of stuff to open up. And if people want me to, I can open up stuff on my farm accounts too, if it comes to that. I should make more memes on YouTube shorts. I'm glad you enjoy them. I, I do love making YouTube short memes. I think they're absolutely hilarious. And they always do really well. So I will definitely be making more of those for sure. From Morocco. Awesome. Love watching people with patience open things I can never save that much. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. I can tell you that. And especially not only on one account, but on eight accounts, it's, you know, it, it's hard not to open up all the stuff. Especially like the VIP, like all the VIP I had saved up. Like, oh my gosh, it took me so much willpower to not collect all that VIP every single day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was, it was tough. Dev Builder, you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you being here, I'm glad you were able to hop on a stream. Let's, uh, put a timer up. Wanna see, let's see. We got 15 minutes till reset. We're probably going to watch Zenith and see what happens here because we actually have a pretty tight race. Can I get a tip on my 500,000 power account? Yeah, you can ask for tips for sure. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Am I king in the server? I'm not the king. Nope. I used to be a co-king in another kingdom and it was honestly just too much work, honestly. Too much of a commitment. I prefer just being a member and especially now that I'm doing YouTube, it you know almost makes it impossible to balance being a king and being a YouTuber at the same time. That's why I like um uh, that's why I like Chiskool basically stepped down from leadership. I'm sure he still helps out a ton, but from what I understand, I don't think he's he might like get king, but he I don't know if he runs the kingdom anymore. How do I gain more power? From City Hall 11 free to play. I have a full free to play guide that it's one of my most popular videos. So if you go onto my channel and you um, if you go to my channel and hit like popular videos, it should be one of the top ones. It has like 25,000 views on it. Um, watch that one. It's it's a longer one, but I'm I believe there's timestamps in there. Um, but uh, definitely check that one out. Ooh, we got descent right on the edge here 13 minutes you can see he just got duke so he'll be uh there's a tight battle here one of these two one of these five are not gonna get it Jeez, we have a lot from 1079 pushing got to go edit drop shipping videos well good luck with that chisco was migrating to 2268 yeah yeah plato and i are, are good friends we were talking about that earlier today yeah, that's definitely huge news. I I knew they were going to be migrating, but I didn't know where they're going to be migrating. But let's put a timer up so that way people that are just filtering in, because we, you know, we just started it. So we'll put a timer up on when we are planning on starting with armaments. That way people can set a timer if they want to come back. Otherwise, we're going to be watching Zenith because we got, we got movement down here. Of course, it doesn't let me do it in minutes. I have to calculate the seconds.
put it right there. All right, we got about 20 minutes. 20 minutes and we'll start opening. Yin, how's it going? First time on the stream, appreciate being here. Yeah, this is my first stream. I was talking about that. It was my first stream in like two months now, which I didn't realize it was that long. But I suppose I was on vacation for half of February. So, you know, I wasn't even uh, in, um, I wasn't even home for half of the last month. So I guess that makes little sense as to why I wasn't able to live stream. I hope I can. Oh, I think this guy might beat me to it. This is like a perfect chaining situation. If I can get there in time. Has everybody finished the... Um, 7k gem event. I finished it last night. By far the best value in the game. Without a doubt. Do we have anybody here that pushed for Zenith? What are some tips if you haven't played Season of Conquest yet? Definitely be particular about what commanders you invest into. That would be my biggest piece of advice. Don't just, um, you know, invest into any commander. Oh, jeez, these two are... Oh, jeez, Descent just trained another 2 million power. Holy crap. I didn't think it was going to be this high. But Preston, if you have not played in Season of Conquest yet, I would say definitely be particular about what kind of commanders you want to run. If you want to be, you know, infantry, cavalry, archers, um, in my opinion, the I would say the two commanders you should be aiming for the most are going to be Luce and going to be Joan Prime. Those are the two number one choices that you should be going for. And then um, other options would be obviously like Nevsky, Hukabing, However, we do have cavalry coming out here relatively soon. So, you know, I would hold off on investing into cavs right now, unless it's Joan Prime. That'd be the only one I would invest into right now, uh, just because she's the best cav player in the game right now, which people say is controversial. I don't think it is. I think she's by far the best option. Um, the controversial one is Nevsky versus Who, which I think Huga Bing is better. Um, but if you can invest into, like, Joan Prime, into Luce, Scipio, like, you'll be just fine. Guan Yu Rock, how's it going? Hey, I appreciate that. Uh, Bo Jlaba from 3360. You're from a newer kingdom. Nice. Galaxy, first time tuning in. Appreciate it, man. Glad to have you here. You're an infantry. Gonna max Lu. Yeah, Lu is top notch. Lu Scipio, or Scipio Lu is by far the best march in the game right now, without a doubt. Currently, I run Luce with Alex. These are my marches for KVK. I might mix this one around, we'll have to see. I'll probably run Boudicca primary, but these are my marches for KVK as of right now. What are my KVK goals? So my KVK goals, I am currently at 4.6 billion kill points. I would love to finish KVK at least at 6 billion. So that'd be 1.4 billion kill points. I have the resources. I have the speed ups. It's gonna, I have the time too. Like I can make the time, but it's gonna come down to how much fighting is there in this KVK. Like without a doubt, that is the, the biggest question I have is how much fighting are we actually going to get? Because I'll pop up the map real quick. So this is the map that we got for this KVK. Um, obviously, like we don't we don't even have um, 1365 added in there because it's their farm accounts. They're not going to help at all in KVK. Maybe like two people. Um, who knows? Maybe more people will help. I have no clue, but... I mean, they literally told us you guys won't get any help from us. <laughs> so we're not counting on them to help. So that's why they aren't even, you know, on the uh, on the map. So 1504, 1500, and 1079 versus 2728, 3090, 2381, and 3065. 
So, you know, all these kingdoms are AC'd. Uh, we did just hit Imperium the other day during Zenith of Power, obviously, because uh, we had some people obviously train quite a bit of power. Like, this is an extra... We have one, two, three, four, five, six players in the top 10. Then we have a couple that trained a little bit more power for Mightiest Governor. Um, so, you know, we have we have quite a bit of people that trained a lot of power for Zenith, which obviously pushed us a little bit higher as well. So we did hit Imperium. We'll probably drop it on the first day of fighting, though. So I'm not too worried about that. But this is the lineup for KVK. I think... On paper, we have a disadvantage, but I'm pretty optimistic. I think it should be a fun KVK, but like I said, it's going to come down to how much fighting there is. I also am running Lou Alex right now because I'm free to play. Nice. Yeah, it's a great march. I mean, if you guys saw my video where I like talked about um, what pairings I ran last KVK and how many kills each commander got, Luce and Alex was my best march in the field by far best march i think they they had over six or six million kills and like my nevsky joan both had um like under five or like around five like my luce in one kvk yeah 6.7 million kills so it's pretty insane when you think about it for one kvk's worth appreciate that at the end that was pretty decent well we got eight All right, we got five minutes. Let's do Lost Canyon and Canyon real quick. I always forget this, so I got to do it before I remember. I really don't care about this. I just need to get the 25 wins every week. That's really what matters. I usually sit in like around the top 100, but I get picked on quite a bit. Which, I don't really care. I mean, the shop is not really anything here that I really need. Just besides the Iconic Crystal. That's about it. By the way, is it better to be a, a low seed or a high seed as a low mid spender? Like 4-5 to five act hours of activity per day? Depends on how much fighting you want. Obviously, you can get quite a bit of fighting in lower seeds if you get into a good KVK matchup. But you run the risk of having zero fighting. So, I would say if you want to... You know, be in a situation where you're one of the better players in the kingdom. Obviously, a low seed kingdom is going to be best for you. But if you want to be in a situation where you're going to have a lot more fighting and a lot more ability to fight in uh, an A seed, I wouldn't go Imperium, but an A seed kingdom I think would be better. I have Lou Expertise. Was it better to invest in Alex and Scipio? I would not invest in Alex right now. If you have him, use him, but don't invest into him. Much better to invest into Scipio, for sure. Because Scipio Luce is the best march in the game right now. Like, no questions asked. Best march in the game. So, 100% Scipio over Alex. Alright, we got three minutes. Jeez, these all... These are at like 14 million for... That rank 10 was like 13 or 14 million when we started the stream. So these have definitely pushed up quite a bit. 10th place is almost 17 million. I did not expect that for this Zenith. Is 5511 Alex good enough? And it's not amazing, but it's good enough to use. I would use a 5511 Alex. If you want to pair Scipio with Guan. Yeah, if you do like Guan Scipio and then your Luce Alex at 5511, I think that's totally solid. I don't think that you'll trade that bad. Obviously, it won't be as good as an Expertise Alex, but I wouldn't put the sculptures in for an Expertise Alex if that's where your Alex is at. I think that's totally fine. I feel like um, Descent is like sweating right now. A ton, because he has two accounts here. Descent and Turtle Shield are the same person. So he has one in fourth place and he has one in eighth place. So he's for sure training on Descent right now. And now he's in eighth. Holy crap. 
he might have to choose one or the other. This is insane. <laughs> Holy crap. We got six over 20 million. Two minutes left. And this guy has two accounts he has to train on. And we have Nactic that's also pushing. These guys probably just accepted their fate. Yikes. That really sucks. That's got to be like the worst thing. You train over 10 million power. And then people just go ahead and double you in like five minutes. Oh my gosh. We're going to have... Number 10 is for sure going to be 20 million. For sure. Do you guys think 10th will be 20 million? Starting pre-KVK this Friday. Any tips on the new commander? Should I invest in any? What commanders do you have right now, PB? Because that's the important part. It's like, what do you currently have? All right, final minute. Yeah, Descent and Turtle Shield. Same person, but they are sweating right now. I guarantee you that. My goodness. I would not want to be in this situation. I forgot, does it show us like final rankings after reset? I feel like he should be fine, but I would still be sweating in this situation if I were him. 20 seconds. I think this is going to be the finalist. Evil Eye might barely take it. I mean, a million points more, but still, that's a very thin margin for this. Three seconds. All right. Final rankings. We got Kane taking second. We got Keat taking fifth. Noctic taking sixth. Turtle Shield in seventh. Descent in eighth. And then Evil Eye in ninth. Man, how many is that? One, two, three, four. Jeez. We got six, the top ten. You have an Expertise, Minna, and YSG. And then 5522, Charles Martel. Are you going into Season of Conquest or KVK2? IDK, the, the timer in the top right is for armaments. Just to start opening armaments. All these chests. Alright, let's log out and log back in. KVK2, okay. So, I mean, depends if like you're if you're a high spender, then you could consider doing like Mina and CC if you have CC. Otherwise, like Mina YSG and KVK2 is good, um, or Mina Khan if you have Khan. Um, personally, I wouldn't invest into Khan in KVK2 just because he sucks in Season of Conquest, um, but. You could definitely run Minna YSG and then like Charles Martel and Metmed. That'd be solid. Um, but if you're planning on running more than like more than two marches, then you might have to run some subpar commanders. Oh, we got Heart's Desire too. Well, that's good to know. I'm gonna have to start opening some keys here too. It's gonna be two for one in this live stream. I was really hoping that in this event that you could buy the gems every day because I would have bought that out every day. All right, so we need courier station buys. I hate this. Because I feel like buying stuff like this is just a waste of resources, but you have to buy them. Look how close I am to VIP 17. I thought we were gonna have more than gems coming and it's like, at this point I should just gem this, right? Or I guess I could use 
VIP points in here. Because I have the credits for it. Hmm. Want me to get some VIP? Nope. Kane had to buy some more machines. What do I think of 12 inch? I'd, I mean, I get along with him. I don't really talk to him that often, but we just fought each other in KVK and, um, yeah, I'd, I mean, sometimes I'll pop into his live streams and chat, but he's been in a couple of my, of, uh, my live streams too. During KVK when he was on vacation and I was streaming, he would pop in here and chat. So, um, yeah, we get along. I mean, there's no beef between us at all. I feel like almost all the Rise of Kingdoms content creators get along really, really well. Like, there's not really any, at least from my understanding of, like, what I'm aware of, there's not really anybody that, like, I don't like that creator. Like, everyone get, it gets along really well. Like, we're all cool. And, like, all of us are in, um, like, all the official Rise of Kingdoms content creators, we're in, like, Discord chats with each other, um, to, you know, like, for our contacts with Lilith. So, we have that connection, too, of... Um, you know, asking for different, uh, like, art, requ qu art requests for thumbnails or, um, you know, information on really anything regarding content creation. Um, we're in, like, the same group chats for that, so. And, like, for me, like, I, I talk with, uh, like, Plato and Shappy basically every day, for example. Like, the three of us get along really well. Um, like, we have a Discord chat that we talking most of the day and help each other out because all three of us are smaller creators so plus Shappy and I are in the same kingdom so it works out really well we got nothing from that jeez I might be able to buy another transmutation I can awesome we also have uh inscription shard chest we might be able to uh get some of that too rank six And then before I forget, I want to do these because I, uh, I'm going to forget otherwise. <laughs> this is like the best event ever. I won't do this on my farm on live. I'll do that on my own time, but I want to make sure I get these done. Makes me so glad that they actually give us a purpose for these useless commander sculptures. Because it's like, otherwise you just accumulate thousands and thousands and thousands of these with nothing to do. The thing that sucks though is that they capped this out. That was stupid. That still pisses me off. Plot of Plot is, is fun to listen to. I was listening to it and play the game. Nice. Yeah, I'm still waiting for uh, for Plato to get me back on Farmer or Fighter. Because uh, him and Shappy and I were talking about um, doing some content together again. Because it's always fun when, when the three of us can, or even just two of us can, you know, hang out in a video or a live stream. It's always nice to support one another as smaller creators because, you know, my, my channel has grown tremendously over the last couple months, which I'm very grateful for. But it, like I still consider myself a small content creator. Maybe that's just delusion. I don't know. It, you guys tell me if you still consider me as a small content creator. I still think of myself as a small content creator, but maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Um, but, you know, it, it's good to support other content creators. I'm always very careful with these because it's like... I don't want to click on the wrong commander and trade in the heads that I still need. Ashida. 
trying to think who else. I don't know who of these I have expertise. I'd have to check. Let's collect the rewards first. 20 gold heads. Let's take all this crap. Obviously getting the resources. Bro. Come on. There we go. 11,000 left. Okay. Farmer fighter. I'm always called a farmer because I don't spend enough. That's the unfortunate thing about, you know, like raiding accounts in Rise of Kingdoms. Like, yes, you can have a great account as a free-to-play player, but the amount of time you have to spend is absolutely insane. And it's it's just crazy, to be honest. If it makes you feel any better, I'm still considered a farmer, too, to a lot of people. Even with almost 5 billion kill points, like, people are like, oh, yeah, Gaines is a farmer, 100%. Which, I mean, yeah, I, I do... I do pride myself on my farming. Obviously, not as much on here because I gather mostly gold, but on my farm accounts, I, I'm very active on those to supply my resources because I, I need the resources, so. All right, well, timer went off, so we are going to dive right into it. Got pretty lucky with the universal head there. I'll take that over the Sargon sculptures, honestly. I don't really care too much about Sargon, so. Yo, Shappy! Baden, should I wait until three hours to do these? I don't know how long this is going to be. Complete 10 assigned. I might want to just wait the three hours. According to Rise of Kingdoms Market, you'd be in the top 10 big Rise of Kingdoms content creators. I think it depends if you're like looking at English speaking and international as well. Cause there's some international content creators that like I don't know of, but like they pop up randomly on my like for you page or whatever, my homepage. I'm like, who is this? And then I look at it and it's like, like a Vietnamese content creator and they have like 60,000 subscribers. I'm like, holy crap. I don't even know who this is. Like, geez, they're very popular. <laughs> But yeah, that's why I consider myself still a small content creator, because there's there's always a bigger fish. And obviously Chiskool is number one by far, but maybe someday I'll get to that level. Let's open up some of this stuff too. Because I got quite a bit. Nice, we got five weapons. Gains that'd be top ten. It's pretty decent. Oh jeez. Nice. I'll take that. All right. So my biggest debate was whether or not I go just for wedge or I throw in some arch as well. So I am going to get some advice from all of you guys. What do you guys think? Go all in for Wedge or some Arch for Lou? Because I do run Lou primary because I run Scipio and Guan. So since I have Scipio and Guan, or Guan Scipio, I should say, um, you know, I feel like it makes more sense. I stopped going Arch. 46 watching, five likes. Yeah, hit that like button, guys. I haven't even been looking at the likes. It says 17 likes on my end, unless it just jumped up from 5 to 17, which, if so, awesome. <laughs> you stopped going arch. All wedge, you don't spend enough to mix arch, in my opinion. That's true. That's probably very true. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like that's the, the overwhelming consensus as well. So, we'll go all wedge. Let's start off with blue. These are probably going to be all recycled. Oh, nice. I can just do that. I think if anything isn't legendary, I just get rid of all of it because otherwise it's not going to do me any good. I'm glad they added the bulk recycle though. Oh, 
There's no health there. I might just look at that just to see. Yeah, I'm glad that they made this easier to go through. I should go for Scipio right after Max Lu, right? Yes. That's what I would recommend. Nope. Yeah, adding like the bulk recycle makes a huge difference here. And it's honestly crazy how like when the armament system first came out, every single time I opened one of these, I got upgrades. And now like I've had some times where I open these and it's like I open up hundreds and I don't get a single upgrade. It's crazy. What is a good tech for a low spender for first pass? Um, I can show you where I'm at currently. All I did was pop-ups. And I keep in mind, I still have 2.8 million crystals, but all I've done is pop-ups so far. So I win 8 out of 10 infantry, 8 out of 10 calves, because I do have 2 infantry, 2 calves, so I'm prioritizing those over archers. Um, speed, 6 out of 10. Not investing into these anymore. Got this as far as I could. Uh, call to arms, I have max as far as I can. These I have max as far as I can. I guess I could go here and try to get more call of arms too. But... Yeah, that might be the move. Let's see what you guys think. I don't even know if I can get to Call of Arms 2, but... All right, what do you guys think? Because, like, I got these as far as I can right now, too. Which I don't expect my... I don't expect my tech to be amazing right away. Obviously, it's decent for not really spending a whole lot. But... Save up until you can max, then decide. Well, we got... We got two more days. We got until Thursday. So... You know, if we if we get some donations, maybe I'll do uh, um, Mountain Warfare when the pass opens. We'll see. Um, for a KVK spending, the only thing I spend is donations. Otherwise, I, I don't spend. That's kind of my um, my whole mindset with it. That's how I can rationalize it. Because like ad revenue goes straight into uh, my investment accounts, and then donations are, are what I'm able to spend. I'm pretty similar. I'll be rally leader, so I focus more on my archers and rally capacity. That makes sense. Shappy, I'm still pissed we didn't get top 10. Like, we did amazing. You almost got top 10. You were like a thousand away. You were at like 503, weren't you? Players of Rock are mostly from WOW Age of Empires who have love for the genre of RTS. I wish you'd be big one day and revive the genre. I appreciate that. Fill up, congrats, man. How much power did you push for Zenith? Because, like, for us, Zenith was 22 million, 22 and a half, and 10th was 17. Ad revenue goes straight to rock. We have we have two different uh, mindsets with that, Shappy. <laughs> we're, we're kind of the exact opposite. You know, I might... Do one of these real quick. Just because I'm doing three barb forts right now anyway. I'm from AoE. Game is a classic. Nice. Alright, let's get back to armaments. Let's do the randoms. 16 mil for 8th isn't too bad. That's not bad. In 3100, 10th was 28 million. Jeez. That's crazy. What was 11th? <laughs> that sucks. Uh, I don't need any of that. Well, this could have been good. Maybe I'll save that for like a barb march. Maybe. How do I get so many 50 action points from rallying? From rallying barbarian forts. Because obviously they capped what you can get from 
you know, collecting the gifts. Like, I guess I can probably, yeah, I, I install it. You can only get, what, like 7,000 a week now? So they capped that. Um, but when you actually rally Barbarian Forts, like, you get EP recovery. So during the off season, when I'm rallying Barbarian Forts most of the day, I'm getting a lot of 50 AP. And obviously, like, it's not a ton at a time, but it adds up day over day over day. Um, you know, after, like, say you do, I don't know, as an example, like, say you do uh, 10 Barbarian Forts a day, like, that's, you know, maybe you log on every 10 minutes, um, and you launch a Barbarian Fort and log off, whatever. I don't do that, but some people do it that way. Um, might take you like a total of five minutes, but that will give you an extra 500 AP a day, which adds up pretty quickly. All right, let's do the other randoms. Nope, 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 and nope. So I think this is the one that's supposed to be really good. We'll see, because this is the rare inscription one. So we're going to save that one after we finish these nine circles. Ugh, I don't need those. Lambo, welcome, man. Thanks for the raid. Dude, it's been way too long since I've jumped into one of your live streams. Like, I, I, need, to, uh, I need to get one of your live streams again. How have you been? Mad Mania, what's up? V formation. That could have been good. A ape. Man, not a single. Oh, this could be good. This could go in my Pakal. That might actually be good. Yeah, I appreciate you, Lambo. Yeah, so this is the only one that's good there. Everything else can go. TSN snitch. <laughs> all right. Rare inscription. Healer just used all of his speed ups plus half his gems. Dude, Lambo, how much power do you push? Off season, better to do forts or chain barbs. If you need resources, barbarian forts. If you need speed ups, barbarians. Securing first and zenith. You missed a fun one tonight. Way too many speed ups and gems for zenith, but hey, you only live once. <laughs> if my wife checks the credit card statement, my life is over. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Lambo, how much power do you push? Let's see here. Is this not an alphabetical order anymore? 35 mil. Where are you? This makes it really hard when I just accept every single person that sends me a friend request. <laughs> there you are. 128. Looking like a whale. As usual. Cops are outside. Brother-in-law's burning leaves. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Lambo. Good luck with that. <laughs> Got mine for half the price. Yeah, Philip, seriously. That's that's hilarious. Alright. Rare inscription. I don't know if I favorited this, but this was for like having a hundred of the uh what's it called? I don't even know if I can find it. No, it's gone. Um, for having a hundred of those uh, basically legendary armaments that don't have a legendary uh, or rare inscription. So I only got one. So hopefully we get a good one. Second place player in Zenith has fewer dead troops all time than I am getting back this KVK. Oh, so you beat a dead weight. I'm glad to hear that. If it's Archer Health next Zenith, your wife isn't going to be happy. Dude, if it's Archer Health, 15%, like Lambo is going to push like 100 million power, I swear. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. Okay, we got Wedge. Oh my gosh, Defiant. Are you kidding me? That sucks. 
and increases the normal damage resistance of the wielder's troops by 3%. I guess that's not horrible, but like, I guess if I get it on calves, with the cab mark speed, but that's not great. All right, well, let's get back to the choice chests. 33 mil KP. Dude, they did not have 33 million KP. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Dude. Ugh. There's like a chance one of these purple ones are good, but very slim. The LC counter? That's that's the only thing I'm thinking of, yeah. Just counter an LC. Okay. You got three with inscriptions. That's good. War cry. Okay. With all damage. It's alright. Spiked. Yeah. Don't love that one. Hardy, two and a half percent health, okay. Doesn't give me a whole lot of good, but have health is good there. Infant double infantry. I'll save those. Just because they have decent stats. Oh, I forgot to recycle. Whoops. Um there we go. Let's recycle these before I forget. I hate going through and finding them. It's such a pain. There we go. 33 million KP and two point dude. And they pushed how much power? 33 million? You pushed 35. Dude. In the end, the Visa card won. <laughs> Yikes. We're getting wrecked so far. I mean, at least the bread and butter comes from the legendaries, right? But at least want something good. Those are really low stats. I think it's the lowest you can get on a purple. 1%. Okay, this might actually be good. 1.1% all damage is pretty solid. So you're telling me there's a chance. Would you say it's better to fully focus on Wedge as a low spender? We'll probably be running 1 Luce, Skippy March, KVK 3 through 4. I would say Wedge, yeah. Unless you're like a bigger spender, I think Wedge is the play. Yeah, those are all trash. And we will for sure be using... Um, what are they called? Transmutation Stones to stream as well. I'll show you the talent tree real quick, and you can just take a screenshot if you want. Actually, don't work. I don't even use her primary. Uh, she's cab support. Do I have a cab support march? I don't know if I do. I would not use Joan of Arc primary personally. But I would say you want to go here to lose formation like that. You want to go to rejuvenate. You could go two out of three if you wanted to. And then I would probably go full cav tree, personally. You could also go to emergency protection as well. But that would be my recommendation. Stay to versatility. Um, stay away from these two. You don't need them. Uh, Cage of Thorns could be good. You could go for that one as well. Saladin has the same tree. Let's take a look. Do I have Saladin? Uh, what the heck? Yeah, I guess you could go for this. Yeah, this is what I would recommend for Joan as well. Oh, you're using her secondary? Yeah, <laughs> you don't need a talent tree on her then. Oh, man. That's all right. All right, let's see. 1.3% all damage is good, but not good enough. I'm getting lucky with the all damage, just not the stats. Oh, okay. We got a double inscription, guys. I'm gonna save that one for last. Let's see what we got here. 
right nothing 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 oh that one could be good three percent health all right let's see what we got here horrible stats alert 2.5 percent counter attack and one percent one point oh, okay that's not great but it's a double inscription uh not great i don't think those are worth saving i guess I'll lock them just in case, because I don't know off the top of my head what my stats are in my other ones, so... Just off the off chance that it's good, we'll, we'll lock them. Because I, I don't remember what my stats are. Fighting against Baba. That'll be fun. We just fought against Baba. Oh! Whenever the wielder's troop deals direct damage or ranged direct damage, has a 30% chance to deal extra direct damage to the target. 100. The stats are just really low, though. That could have been really good. Not great, not bad, exactly, yeah. Oh, 3% health. I'll save that for sure. All right, so I believe we should be able to max out this. Yeah, oh, no, not yet. Maybe here soon. Hey, thanks, Popsicle. All right, let's start with the 72. Pass opening win. Pass opens Thursday at 1512 UTC. I will be streaming it. All right, formation, choice chess. <laughs> uh, Lambo rated me shappy. So, big thanks to uh, to Lambo. Alright, now we got to the legendaries. Evasive. 1% less damage is good. And then, alert. Eh. All damage is decent, but... Okay. Nope. 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 And nope. Big L. Only one with an inscription, yikes. Embattled. Whenever this troops takes any skill damage, has a 10% chance to gain 50 rage. Eh, it's not fantastic, but could be good. We'll see if we can transmute it. 3.5% archer health. And infant, whoa. Stats on this one are really high. I was about to give you a hard time about reusing the thumbnails. I mean, to be fair, I um, I went home sick today with food poisoning, so I did not really have the energy to make a new thumbnail. So I, I will give you that, Shappy. I was very lazy when it came to my thumbnail because I just felt like crap when I got home. But we are feeling better now. Now we're getting good stats like that, but still getting to transmute stuff. And I do still have a hunter inscription to add. Oh, metallics. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I do still have my hunter inscription to add to anything I want. I really am a nice guy, contrary to what you may hear. I believe you, Lambo. I, I think you're a really nice guy. You've you always been uh <laughs> not gains gaming streaming from the toilet. Thankfully, no. Let's see. Assertive, 2% more damage on map or metallics. I would definitely go for the 2% more damage. Is that what the smell is? Thought it was the bean burritos ate for dinner? Might be a combination of the two, Lambo. <laughs> Defiant. Increase the normal damage. 3.5% cav health. That's a save for sure. If we can transmute that and get some other cav stats on there, that's a use. Stats in there are a little low. Same with those. I feel like if it's not, like, it's crazy to think about this, but if it's not 3% or higher, it's almost, like, unusable at this point for me, which is crazy to think about. Okay. 2.6. 
See, like 2.6 with an inscription makes it a little bit more usable. Robust. Nice. Ramen noodles now for the next four weeks so I can pay off this Xena skin. <laughs> okay, we got four with inscriptions. Okay. Archer defense and an extra 3.5% defense. That might be usable. We'll see. Three stats, but they're all really low. Oh, this one's meta right here. Raging Omen, what's up? 3.4% defense. We're getting a lot to save here. Has a 10% chance to reduce the damage by 20%. That's good. Guarded. Sounds like your rock budget is a lot more than a coffee budget. <laughs> Resistant... Okay, not amazing. And spirited. Deals 5% extra damage and has over 70% rage. Okay. Alright, we got... Let's do 6. And 6. Oh, we got decent stats. I feel like when in doubt, just lock it and look at it later. Bluster. Whenever the troop is inflicted with a control effect, has a 10% chance of resisting the effect and dealing direct damage to three enemy nearby enemy troops. Uh, uh. <laughs> really shouldn't have gone for, but something in me couldn't let a player with only 33 million KP and 2.6 million deads take first. Call me petty, I guess I am. Lambo, can you uh send me the name of the guy that took second? I want to I want to pull this up on stream. Armament Alterer. Never heard of this. Bluster sucks. That doesn't even seem like remotely a good deal. Bro, what? I wonder if that was like for the uh, legendary inscription one or whatever. But yeah, Lambo, what's the second guy's name? Because I, I want to look him up and look at his account. That's, that's just crazy. Oh, three stats. Pursuer. Oh. Eh. Deals 2% extra damage to troops with under 20% remaining. Good archer defense. All right, now we got 16 of the new formation choice chests. So we'll see if these are any better. I think these are ones that have like the better chance of getting the rare inscription. Cap health. Oh, 3.5 and guarded. That's solid with the cav health. In game PM, let's take a look. Lady Beatrix. Pursuer sucks too. I mean, it's not amazing, but 3.5% calf health is good. Kingdom 1026. Lady Beatrix. Let's see if I remember how to spell that. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> Is this a farm account? Bro. There's no way. How? Dude. And they pushed what, like 30 something million power? Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. Sell me that account. <laughs> this like hurts to look at. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this has to be a bot account, right? Or like just give it to somebody and be like, oh, this is what looks like a good event. 
They probably spent all their resources and all their speed ups. That's crazy. Very little achievements too. It seems like it was a dead account or something. Probably just like used everything. My goodness, this is like, imagine this account on farmer or fighter. <laughs> Someone send this to Plato. <laughs> Oh man, I don't understand that. Literally 2.6 million kills. That's it. Yeah, not 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 even that, Nicholas. 33 million. Not even 300 million. 33 million. <laughs> Literally, like I got more kills than they have on their entire count in like the first 15 minutes of fighting. Worse than Shappy's account? Well, don't don't get too ahead of yourself, Shappy. You you might be a little bit worse. <laughs> Alright, last eight here. Got three with inscriptions, okay. Striker. Yeah. Not great. Search up Nergy 3. I can look up that in a minute. Another one with striker. Wary. That one's decent. And recycle. Oh. There's a guy. Oh, last infantry zenith. A guy with 48 million in my kingdom pushed 28 million to get top four. Jeez. Look up Nergy 3. Oh. Jerry. Oh, jeez. They just push Zenith 2? Nergy 2? Oh, I have two accounts. Oh, three accounts. Jeez. 2681? It's more, it's more impressive that they have that little KP than having lots of KP. That is pretty impressive that they have that bad a KP. This guy has three huge accounts. That's crazy. Oops. All right, so let's show you guys what my armaments currently look like. We'll get this stuff out of the way quick. New video, top 10 biggest a-holes in rock. <laughs> Number one. Shappy Gaming. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, Shappy. You are top five though, but not number one. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. So, armaments. Let's first show you guys what all I have. So this is currently what I have. I do prioritize health for sure. It's kind of it's like kind of overwhelming having this much stuff to go through because like what well, i just opened a couple hundred chests and now i have all these locked to look through like that is a little overwhelming look at dm let's check this guy out Yikes. <laughs> 85 million power. My G my goodness. That's not good. Why do they make castles so hard to upgrade? Dude, it's it's literally just a way for them to make you need to buy stuff, like to buy the VIP chess. Uh which one is it? Like, this is the last one, Book of the Covenant, because they want you to buy these special bundles. That's that's literally it. Because otherwise, the free-to-play way to do it is by rallying Barbarian Forts and hope that you get... Like, I didn't even get any. 
excuse me, I didn't even get any there. But like, if I go into here, you can see I have 25,000 that, you know, are completely useless for me. I can't even get myself to sell them because of how expensive they were to get in the first place. I'll personally zero him after this KVK. <laughs> I'll send you the video when I do. I love it, Nick. Definitely should. <laughs> All right, but I guess what we should do is just take a look at the armaments that need to be upgraded and then kind of go from there. Mind if I send you an in-game in screenshot of my armaments? Yeah, go for it. I probably won't be able to cover it in this stream, but I'll be able to give you some advice later on. Alright, I'm going for calves. I feel like that's kind of hard to beat. Yeah, for sure. Alright, let's compare the two of these. You should get bus driver to help you with armaments though. I'm always up for uh for advice for sure. My KP is low because I got the account from my brother, if you understand me. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, I think um, Bus Driver is going to help Shappy with his armaments tomorrow. But I'll be at work when they're doing that live stream. So unfortunately, I won't be able to watch it. But All right. So the question here is... Is the 1.6% defense worth this skill? Yeah, because that's that's the only difference here is that you either get embattled or you get 1.6% cap defense, which I mean. All right, Bo, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, make sure you guys check out Shappy's stream tomorrow. He is actually going to live stream for like the first time in what, Shappy, like five years? <laughs> he never live streams. So make sure you guys don't miss that. I'll probably have to just rewatch the uh Rewatch the stream when it's done, but because I'll be at work until like seven o'clock, and I think his live stream is at like four thirty my time. Was he on Plato's stream the other day too? What's the best way to gain VIP? So obviously the daily VIP um, gemming it is the easiest way during like more than gems, and then um, in the like the alliance shop you can also get VIP. You could lock the 3.5 and roll it a couple times. That's true. Yeah, just lock the 3.5 and re-roll. Probably a good idea. All right, so then this one, this one could probably get be upgraded. It would just need some re-rolls. Yeah, for sure, just need some re-rolls. Uh, UTC, Shappy, I'll have you answer that because I don't know the UTC. I know it's like scheduled on your account though. Alright, so we got... It's hard to move on from Vitality because I think I like manually put that on there. So, I don't know if I can really replace that in good and conscious. But that's also really good. 2130. Okay, gotcha. I mean, my Nevsky is already pretty solid. Let's take a look. Let's look at Guans. That one's just fine. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, robust. Can't really beat that, to be honest. This one probably could get upgraded. I probably should have my better gear on Guan because I don't use Scipio primary. <laughs> I should probably just switch that over. There we go, yeah. Nice 
And again, the better gear is on Guan. Oh, this one's good though. Usually my archers were like my best ones and now I feel like they're they're still really solid but I feel like they're kind of falling behind now. This one could be a re-roll situation for really either infantry or archers, to be honest. Urban Prime or Luce? Which one best overall? Luce, 100%. Luce is going to be better for 1v1, can be better for a KP gain. Murder Balls is where Herman Prime wins, but I mean, I, I would still go for Luce. As long as somebody in your Murder Ball has Herman Prime, you get the benefit. That's really the biggest thing you have to think about. Personally, I would go Luce. Yeah, nothing to upgrade from Archers either. I might have not gotten like a single upgrade from that, which would be kind of sad. Because like all these are so good. 1.7% all damage or 6.6 .6 health. Oof. Really depends on the March. I mean, the health will be really good for sustainability, but the damage... I mean, obviously 1.7% all damage is pretty huge. So it depends on if you're wanting like higher DPS or more sustainability. Can't wait to retire Bjorn Sun Tzu. Yeah, I <laughs> I don't blame you there. Also, I love your username, Creatine Addicted. Oh, Ward, I think, is too good to give up, to be honest. I feel like this one could be a reroll. Like, reroll for... I mean, probably get rid of the cab defense, to be honest, and just reroll with the cab health. If everyone thinks the way you think, no one would invest in Herman, which means no Herman in your murder ball. I think a lot of people have invested in Herman and will continue to invest in Herman. If I didn't have Boudica, I would have invested in Herman for sure. Um, oh, <laughs> Shappy, dude, what? Did you have to buy the $10 bundle or whatever? Left the trials at 316 out of 320. I, I almost texted you before reset, like, hey, did you finish the event? <laughs> the conclusion between Luce and Herman have both max. Exactly, yeah. Only heads I've spent was for 511 Richards. It's going to feel good spending the bank for sure, yeah. I'm sure you have a ton saved up. I think this is another one where I re roll with the cab health. And then see what I can do, because obviously the all damage and fatality is amazing, but... Oh, gather his head in the mail, that's good. Alright, who else am I forgetting? Oh, Luce obviously, but I didn't get any upgrades for that. Yeah, you can see like the very limited selection I have for Luce. Basically nothing. 
1400 heads, nice. Done another Kurok before, yikes. Skipped a few Riders of History and Vanquisher instead. Oh, gotcha. So now the question is, what do I transmute? get rid of all these speaking of which I can probably buy one of these I can almost buy two you have Luce priming with Alex and secondary yes I do I could go Alex primary and Luce secondary I need to look at like what the armaments look like um for like wedge versus uh arch because I could also run, um, the reason why I run, run Luce primary, just because he's less of a target, kind of the same reason why I would run Harold Alex instead of Alex Harold, just because of, um, you know, the, the target ability of Alexander the Great is just so high. If someone sees him, they're going to swarm him. So ask yourself, which March needs the most upgrade and proceed with transmuting? Yeah, probably my Guan, to be honest, but let's get one of these inscription shard chests. Okay, deals 1.5% more skill damage. That's actually really good. Now the real question is, where can I put that? Because I couldn't even put Militant anywhere. Use Guan Scipio right now. When I do Luce, should I just retire Guan or can I use him with Alex? I would do Luce, Alex, and Guan Scipio. That's what I do. I don't have a video on what marches I'm going to use, but I will be making one before um, fighting starts. Hey, Algeria, I, I don't usually do um, jumps just because I don't have the time for it. Uh, I do have a um, page in my Discord channel for people that want to advertise their jumps, though. So if you want to do that, feel free to join my Discord. Yeah, Mazza, all of them are epic when you unlock these it gives you an epic um thing and then eventually you can save these up and then buy the inscription that you want so that's kind of the downside but but let's see yeah i mean if i can get this on i don't know if you even have any epics so that's the question I guess I have some on Guan. Yeah, I can share the URL real quick. Oh, I'm not going to get rid of Vitality, though. Or Hardy. Man. Of course, I can't put on that one. No, Mazzy, you can only get legendary from the getting eight of these, which this entire time I've only been able to get two so far. I'm close to three. So if that puts in perspective of how long it's going to take to get one of these, yeah. Is Herman better 5551 five, five, or Expertise? Definitely Expertise. What do you use for KVK if you're a low spender? You can get Legendary? I didn't know that. Oh, you're right. I guess I never looked at this. Interesting. 
the more you know. If I was a uh, free to play or low spender, I would aim to have probably two marches. And that would be Hukabing, Joan Prime, and Scipio Luce. Those would be the two marches I would run. I think with those marches, you're going to trade the absolute best. Without a doubt. Herman Primary, Zuj Zhang. Uh, Herman Primary. Zuj Zhang Secondary. Well, I suppose it depends. I feel like more people are going to want to try to take out a Herman than a Zuge. Both are high qual are high targets, so I would say the Herman's probably the bigger target between the two. And doesn't Herman have the skill tree? Yeah, so sorry, Zuge has the skill tree. What does Herman have? Yeah, Herman has support. So yeah, I would do Zuge. I for some reason I thought they both had the skill tree. But yeah, Herman will get targeted more than Zuge will. So that's the other reason why you'd want to go Zuge primary. Both are going to be high targets though, so that's something you have to be aware of. I mean, you're going to get targeted regardless if you're running archers. So. Yeah, any arch march is going to get targeted pretty quickly. All right, so the double inscriptions are the ones I want to look at the most. And also looking at ones that I have used all my inscriptions on. Like this one, for example. This one is very, very good, but I used all 10 of my things already so we're gonna start here we are going to why do i have that saved save the calf health so we're gonna use one of our resets now we can transmute and nothing and nothing more nothing. Ugh, not worth saving, I don't think. Uh, do we save that? I don't know if we save that or if we keep going. We got five left. They roll the dice. It's better than nothing, but it's not great. I think we just keep going. Might regret that. Have attack. We got three left. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel really stupid. I should have hit save. Oh my gosh. That's what happens when you're sick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you don't think straight. Jeez. Because I could have saved the 1.6% defense and just not saved anything else. Oh my gosh. That's a huge L. Last one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would have been so bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> my goodness. I would have been so pissed. Jeez. Okay. Is there anything else? I have 0 out of 10. I think... Uh, 
There is something here I had 0 out of 10. I think this one. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Yeah, Zio, that's why I was trying to re-roll that, because I had the health on there. So this was the other one I was trying to get. I feel like that's just... I mean, this, the ward skill is really good. Yeah, Shep, I already did Golden Kingdom. What happened, happened. Never regret looking at the past. It's good advice. It's definitely true. This is a pretty good skill. I don't know what I would want it on, though. And March Speed. I also need to find a place for Hunter. Where can I even put Hunter? That's the real question. How do I find that? So it's going to be... On the Epics of Olympia. So on the top left. Which, Bellicose is a pretty good skill. This one we have Hurried and Ward. Don't want to take that one off. Robust on this one. That's also a good skill. And the final one, another robust. Man. I don't know where I put that. If you only run one troop type in the open field, what, what type would it be? Cavalry. No doubt. Cavalry. Should I use legendary set on Boudica or Zuge? Currently running Boudica Ash, Zuge Herman. I would put on Boudica. She's going to need it more. I'm shooting, so showing Lucha Armaments. Yeah, they're not as good as what I got. Get this one. No inscriptions for it, though. This one with War Hunger, which is really good for normal damage. Got this one with Hardy. And we got this one with Pursuer. So I don't know where I put, like, what do I take off? I guess, do I have one that's, like, really good stats that... I've done some of Soroli, but not all of Soroli yet. Oh, here we go. This is where I need it. Right here. 3.2% calf health on the Hunter. That's 100% where I put it, right? Oh, but I don't want to lose Ward. How much better is Hunter than Ward? 5% automatic steel damage. Put on a good double stat and re-roll the third stat. See, I don't have a good double stat. The only good stat one I have is this one. Oh, I guess I have a defense one there too, though. Hmm. I guess I could look at infantry and see if I have any. Oh. Uh, I could put it on infantry, and then I would just have to run wedge with Luce. That might be the play. But I want the skill damage on... 
I don't really want the skill damage on Guan. That's the issue. So I think I want it on Calvary. And this would be the place to do it, because I think that's the highest Cav stat I have. Shappy, do you want to hop on voice? Are you free right now? Yes, Ryan. Hunter Hunter does remove all inscriptions. Yeah, Hunter isn't gonna work on loot, so I have no reason to put it on a um on an arch formation. So to increase skill damage, I'd rather have it on a skill damage formation. But yeah, Ryan, so if I put Hunter on like this one, for example, it would get rid of Bellicose. Otherwise, I would just put it right here and get Bellicose and Hunter. But you can't do that. Hey, Shappy, can you hear me? I can hear you as well. I can hear you from the screen. Okay. Let's see. My mic should be on. I might just turn off the music, just because otherwise you can't really hear you. Okay, what? Let me just double check that. Still from the stream. You can only hear me from the stream? Oh. Actually, now I can hear you. I muted your stream and I can still hear you. How crazy. Okay, is that? perfect. Because otherwise the stream is like 30 seconds delayed, so. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. I turn off the music, otherwise people wouldn't be able to hear you because you'd be drowned out by the music, so. Yeah, I see. Yeah, so. Yeah, dude, the Armorman stuff is tough. It, it really is. Yeah, I mean, like, the Hunter inscription, I need to find a place for it. And the only one I can find is the one that I have on my double C with 3.2% cap health. Because otherwise I'm going to lose the inscriptions. Okay, hold on. Pull them up again. I yeah. see your Ochubang looking at Hunter right now. Walk the wedge. Still damage. Yeah, so I got Hurried and Ward on my Hue, which is whenever the wielder uses an active skill, their troop takes 5% less damage for 3 seconds. And then gains 15% bonus to march speed for 10 seconds after leaving battle. But the stats are 2.7% defense and then 1.5% attack. So, Yeah, I don't know that I'd screw that one up. What is your archer wedge? Um, Archer one. Let me pull that up. I already have robust on there. It's 3.1% archer health, 1.7 defense, and then 1.5 attack with 3.5% extra health. What is robust? 3.5 extra health. And that's one that I bought like from the shop with one coin. Yeah. And what's your second cav? Second cav is Bellicose on my Nevsky. And that one is whenever the wielder's troop launches any type of basic attack, has a 10% chance to gain a 5% bonus damage. So that would be one I could also take off. I might get rid of that one. Yeah, because that's kind of like... Yeah, it's like a 10% chance of getting Hunter <laughs> when you think about it. Yeah, I might go with that one. Perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, because if I get rid of that... Do you, have something, do you have something, though, with better stats already? No, this, this one already has better stats anyway. It's the, it, but does it... Remember, you can add it to any of your legendary ones. Not any of them. You can only add it to the uh, Epics of Olympia. Right, right, right. But so this is the best of your of your scroll form. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Okay. It's the only one with three point five percent calf health. Okay. Pip it. 
And then we got two Kyles in the chat saying if I have any all damage. I guess I could look, see if I have all damage. Oh yeah, if you have any legendary all damage back to your game. I do not. I have epic all damage. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah, it does not help. Yeah, if, if that was... Because I have 1.5% all damage on an epic one. That would be insane. It's huge. I think that's the max all damage you can get. I think it is, yeah. I should honestly find a spot for that. Because that's 1.5% all damage, 2.2% infantry defense, and then an extra 2.5% defense from well clad. The only but. other question I'd ask is, do you have any other... Um, Show me your cavalry ones, because you have the three and a half health, but you're also missing that top one. Do you have any well-rounded all three stats? Um, let's see. So the one that I have all three stats on is 1.5 health, 1.7 defense, 2.3 attack, which obviously isn't great. Yeah. This guy has one that has 4% all damage. Jeez. Wally, I just tossed the uh, the KVK map on screen if you want to take a look at that. But yeah, so... I think getting rid of Bellicose on my Nevsky is the best play. I think so. Either that or you're looking at what I'm seeing right now. 2.6% attack and 2.4% defense. That one's not bad. You just have to hope you get health or all damage. Yeah, which I guess I transmute either way though. Yeah, and that's going to be expensive. It's going to be five each time. Plus the two point four and two point six aren't amazing. Say it again. Well, I guess. Are you going to lock the defense on the one that you have Bellicose right now? That's the one I, I literally just did the. Um... Oh no, I didn't do the. Transmuting. I thought it was when I was just transmuting. Which one was I just transmuting? I don't remember. Oh, it was the this one that I just finished. I guess I could try transmuting without the cab defense and see what I get. And you can do that before you give it hunter. That's true. Hunter. Yeah, I might do that real quick because so I have seven transmutes left. Let's do that. Same thing, we got cap defense again. Same stat. Oh, there we go. I got... That's not bad. Yeah, I got a double... Oh, I got a triple. 3.5 health, 1.5 defense, 1.7 attack. All for cavalry. So I think I'll replace that. And then... <laughs> lesson yeah. learned. Yep, lesson learned. <laughs> and then I think I'll keep... I'll try transmuting it four more times and see if I get better stats. Otherwise, just keep those three. I mean, those are great stats. So, I mean, anything's going to improve. And looks like we're keeping it. <laughs> okay. So uh, now you just have to decide if you want to give it Hunter. Yeah. Current, yep. I'd say that you're not losing anything with Bellicose. Yeah, I'm, I'm gaining... Basically, I'm gaining Bellicose 24-7 by adding Hunter. That's the way I'm thinking about it. Just be nice to get Hunter. Yeah. That feel. All right, let's do it. There we go. All right, that's probably my best armament now. I need to get one of those Otards. That's what you need. Yeah, that, that's how I got it last KVK. The thing that sucks, though, is that you can't, like, choose where you want it. I think that's dumb. Well, I hate that. And I also hate that you can't stack them. Yeah. Like, getting the doubles is so rare. I know. Never... Yeah, it's so stupid. I feel like this is one I could upgrade to. Um, on my Nevsky, it has 1.7 health, 1.7 defense, 2.3 mark speed, and it has resistant, which is 2.5 counterattack. And I have ones that have just better stats without the uh, inscription, but. 
resistance not a bad inscription it's probably like a middle tier yeah the counterattack is nice but i also have shielded on uh, my double c which is uh 2.4 health 1.1 defense and then an extra 2.5 defense oh i would swap that yeah that defense is going to apply all the time whereas that counterattack damage only really applies yeah, I think for sure. Replace that. I don't know why I was on my double C. I do. You do? Yeah, farmer killer. I don't know if I've even used double C to kill farms. Let me see. How many kills does he have? He has 4.6 million kills. On stream. Because <laughs> I, I did used to use uh, Mina double C in like KVK2. Probably for farm killing too, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know why I have such a good armaments on my double C. <laughs> no, that's wild. He doesn't even have that many kills. Yeah, no, it's barely anything. So I think my cavalry are both really good now. I think infantry is where I need the next biggest change. Uh, five marches. Let's see the pull out. Oh, transmute armaments fifty times. New achievement. Uh, let's see. So I got Zuge with Boudica. Might swap that around when fighting comes. Um, Guan Scipio, Luce Alex, which I could swap around as well. Uh, Nevsky Joan, and then Hukabing William. But I think my my guan armaments are my worst ones. You should swap your Joan. Joan should go with uh, Ho Chi Bing. That's, that's the new general consensus. I, I was thinking about that. Like going Joan Hukabing Bing and then uh, Nevsky yeah, William. Then Nevsky That's what all the whales keep telling me to do. Yeah. Let me do that before I forget. Because I was meaning to do that because like that's what I run... Or that's what I ran in Ruins last KBK. The Hukabing Joan. And it did phenomenal. It was by far the best march. Even better than Luce Alex. Or Lu better than uh, Scipio Luce did. Because obviously Hukabing just stays alive the entire time. Alright, let's see. Guan Yu. I'm debating. Do you think I should run Alex primary this KVK and see how that does, or keep Luce primary? What? I would. I would never put Alex on the field as primary. You put Harold behind him. Like put Alex primary or not at all? No. I, well, I, I, you can put him behind Lou, but I wouldn't put him primary. Okay. I just figured because he has a faster skill cycle. Yeah, because, I mean, I feel like I was talking about this earlier. Having Alex primary is just asking to get Swarm down. Oh, for sure. It's, it'd be interesting. I'm curious to see your fifth march. You put, like, like Lou with, with Harold or Lou with Pakal. I don't know if anyone's even tested those. I've, I've thought about trying Lou Pakal and seeing how that does. If you're gonna get swarmed, that's the march I'd want. Yeah, that's true. Or Lou Harold. I don't know how good that would do. Test it. Test it? I said we'll have to test it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, we honestly should test that sometime. I'm down. It's funny, I'm trying to watch the chat. That sweet 30, 30 second, second delay before anyone actually sees anything. <laughs> I know, right? Got to get used to it for your stream tomorrow. I know. Oh, that's going to be so weird. 
I'm gonna be like looking at an armament, and I will have clicked past it, and my princess fell asleep. Wait, what about that one? <laughs> I I swear, like um, when I used to like watch Chisco all the time, like before I did content creation, there'd be like so many times where he'd be like looking for a commander and scroll past it like four times. I'm like, dude, it's not that hard to find the commander. And then I start streaming, and I do it all the time. <laughs> Yeah, just get a ton of engagement of like, you idiot, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is one armament I could definitely reroll. Um, it won't pop up on your screen for a sec, but uh, I have one Olympia Chorus Master that has 2.6 infantry attack, 3.4 infantry defense, but 3.5 archer health. So I don't know if I should re-roll that as infantry or as archers. No inscription on it, though. Uh, well, you can't re-roll it right now anyway without an inscription. Either of them. But if you're trying to figure out, like, should you replace your existing archer one, I would keep your existing archer one. Yeah, oh, that's right. You can't re-roll without an inscription. I forgot about that. See, I'm just used to being able to re-roll everything I want. <laughs> Got so many damn stones. I know. Yeah, how many do I have left? Seventy. Too many. Yeah, I still have seventy-five. I buy out that shop every single week, so that's definitely why. How? How? Just from selling all my stuff every day. Like I only have two hundred thirty-one armaments right now because I go through and I sell everything immediately. I'm gonna see if there's anything else I can go through. I have 333. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I just have too many. Yeah, you just gotta recycle more, honestly. Well, I'm not. I'm gonna let bus driver go through and try and just scrap everything. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. That's part of the. That's part of the plan for tomorrow. I'm just gonna scroll through and be like, "Hey, bus driver, what about this one?" <laughs> I don't think I've seen him in one of my live streams before. I didn't know about him until Plato's stream the other day. Um, that was my first time hearing about him too. He's like a total armament specialist. Like he's made very long videos on them. Oh really? I'll have to watch some of those. He made it, I think at least two of them. I don't know how well they did because you know how it works. Very yeah. No matter how good of a... Uh... Yeah, no matter how good of a video it is, if you're, you know, not a big content creator, they're not going to get pushed out. Well, it was funny. So as part of my, like, how much I make going out on Thursday, I actually talked about, like, better off making more videos than better videos. Yeah, 100%. Double tap on the revenue. That's why, like, um, when I've talked to Plato about that, and he's like, how do you post so many videos? Like, it takes me so long to make a video. And my response is always like, well, I like when I first started, I focused entirely on quantity and not quality. Obviously, like I don't put out a crappy video, but like it's it's more about putting more videos out than putting like the best possible video out. Right. Well, that's what I've learned with these shorts, dude. Like if I have shorts going out every other day, then when I do post a real video, it's in the uh, view history of like thousands of people. So yeah. I get way more impressions. Exactly. Everyone in the stream, you're, you're learning about how, how the sausage is made. <laughs> 72 watching. We only have 44 likes. Is it 44? It says 51 on my screen. 51? Yeah. Sure to drop a like, folks. <laughs> Your boy gains get pushed out. Should I um do uh, Heart's Desire before I end stream? Yes. They added new commanders, and they also made it so you can switch after you've started. Oh, that's nice. Who do I even want to go for? They added a ton of new commanders. Holy crap. 
got to be, be smart, smart with it, though, because, because the way it works is if you select some commanders that you already have, then they just give you more keys. Yeah. Well, like, for me, like, I, I think Attila is one that I want. Who else? Okay, Zio, okay, I'm going to debunk what you just put in chat. Not the case for Fruit Dealer, though. So Fruit Dealer puts a lot of time and effort into his videos, and they do really well. But I guarantee you, if he put half as much effort in and made three times as many videos, he would make more money. 100%. And I think the other thing that really helped with that is that, like, people started seeing it and just sharing it like crazy. Um, like, I think I had probably 10 people send me the link within the first six hours of him posting it. Because, like, everyone was sharing it. content's amazing. Yeah. Like, I, I, don't know, I don't know that anyone can come anywhere near it. Um, but if you're talking about, like, purely how he would make more money, unfortunately editing doesn't always pay off yeah hey, what right. are you choosing? that's what i was still debating so for sure i want attila I'm trying to think who else would benefit me you anywhere near maxing attila um i don't think so <laughs> it's it's more so like if a new cavalry commander comes out and makes Attila meta. Like, I'll have um, enough heads by the time Cavalry comes out to max two commanders. So. If Attila becomes meta again, my life will be changed forever. Seriously. <laughs> but also for, you know, like skills too. Day. He tends to have skills in like um, Heroic Anthem. So. Yeah, you can do that. You're due to upgrade a skill for him anyways. What are you waiting for? Uh, waiting to see next time we go into a KVK with skills. Because it might be the third one, might be the second one. Yeah. Because, like, right now, like, I could get out in the second one for sure. But if a new KVK comes out, or, like, Heroic Anthem comes around and it's the third one, then or the fourth one, then it's like, oh, well, crap, now I screwed myself. Is there anyone in there that you haven't summoned yet? Uh, let's see. I have not summoned Flavius, Henry. Those are ones I should prioritize. Yeah, I would add those. To the yeah. Get, uh, get history. Get Let me take a picture of this. So I... All right. Yeah, honestly, I might just go for unlocks then. So let's see. I would need. Got enough keys that you could probably swing it. At least, at least get one or two in there. I think so. Yeah. So Flavius, Henry. Bertrand. Henry Bertrand. Yeah, Bertrand is. Bertrand is a sleeper, dude. He might be good with the next new cab. He, he could be, be, yeah, for sure. Be able to test it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna have him, so. All right. No one's gonna know. <laughs> so these, all five of these, I don't have unlocked. So might as well go for it, right? That's what I would do. I mean, you because then you get real value out of your spin. That's like, true. Sure, you could get Attila heads, but like, let's be honest, are you maxing Attila anytime soon? Yeah, like, probably maybe, not. But most likely not. Get Cyrus for chaining. I already have Cyrus. I have every commander that you need for chaining. Is Yadviga even in here? Oh, there she is. Right next to Chandra Gupta. Should I get her over somebody else? Because I already have like four of her sculptures. She'll be easier to unlock. I'd get rid of Suleiman. Yeah. I, I, just made a video about him I was going to say, yeah, with his turban. <laughs> All right, let's do that. All right, we'll do all 100 here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Full Moctezuma. That 30 second delay is killing me. I have no idea what you got. 
I just got a full Moctezuma on my first 10 spin. Dude, no way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when it first like popped up, or like when I first clicked it, I saw an achievement in the bottom. And I was like, huh, who would I unlock? And then it was uh, Moctezuma. Yeah. Oh yeah, I should swap him out, because I can swap him out for Suleiman now. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate that. Because now I might unlock Suleiman. Got three full unlocks with 36 keys? Jeez. Is he going to alert me next time I unlock one, though? Let's see. But you have to go in and check, right? And yeah, that's what I have to do every time now. You might be close. Like I've seen a lot of Flavius pop up so far. Oh, I just got Yadviga. I saw the notification before I even unlocked her. <laughs> oh man, now you just need a couple donations to afford it. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now that I got Yadviga, are there any other commanders I don't have that are in here? Don't you have to, don't you have to swap? Oh. See, do I have? I don't have Dito. I don't think Dito's in here. No, I don't think. Oh, what's her? What's this one's name? I'm on a Tori. I don't have her either. We got like thirty more. Another writer of history. This, 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 uh, this became a boon for you. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, we got 20 more. And last 10. I think you can open uh, Flavius. Can I? Let's see. Not quite. So let's see, I got... I got 5 Flavius, I got 5 Bertrand, 4 Montori, 1 Suleiman, and then 4 Henry. But I got two full unlocks, so that's... I'll take that. And then I'll have to do... I probably won't stream tomorrow because I'll be at work, but... Um, yeah, I'll have to do another 100 for the crystal mine bonus. Oh, for using 200 Sovereign for Keys. That? What? Does that apply for Heart's Desire? Yeah. I have a hundred out of two hundred right now. I never have enough keys. I think right now I have about a hundred and thirty if you include my cavern. Do you ever use them? I use them every KVK. I try to use the I do the oh. cavern so I can get the ten guaranteed William key. Yeah. Oh I have a thousand of those coins in the exchange shop. I can get ten gold heads. Because <laughs> ever since they added like Scipio and Nevsky in there, again, <laughs> so I could get how many keys could I get there? I can get like 20 keys or 10 gold heads. I think the yeah. gold heads for sure. I'd go for the gold heads. Yeah, I'll just pick up 10 gold heads there. Yeah, because ever since they added those extra ones, and I have. Let's see. I have 18 more until I get like the, the 10 chest. And then I can choose a commander I don't have if expertise. Or not expertise, unlocked. Only how many more? 10? Yeah. Oh, dude, just do it. What are you waiting for? Well, one thing I was wondering do you know if I select when I have expertise, does that give me like the 500 currency? In like the reward choice. I don't know, but I don't even know why you would do that. Well, because then I could get five gold heads rather than I could get five gold heads for free instead of spending for the the bundle. Chat, what do we got? I've never tried it. Can you do it on one on your farm? 
Uh, I probably could. Yeah, because I have good thinking, Shappy. <laughs> That's why we have farm accounts. <laughs> to try the crap that might not work. <laughs> I can't kill any troops on my main. Let's just use the farm. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Actually, I think I have a farm account that has a chest unlocked. I just have to find which one. Now it just has to have one of those legendary commanders maxed, but so long as it does, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, I have YSS maxed on pretty much all my farms, so... Gains dealer, is that you? <laughs> oh, here we go. Accurate. All right, so. All right, let's give this a shot. So we got. This is a good. This is a good short for you, Gains. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, so testing this out, we got YSS expertise. We have a full unlock, so we're gonna see if this will give us currency to then spend on gold heads, or if we're just gonna get ten sculptures that we can't use. Let's see. That might have just given us 10 sculptures we can't use. Uh, yep. All right. I'm glad I didn't do that on my main account because that did not work. <laughs> Still a good short. Now you that, is, that is a good short. I'll have to edit that together. Well, the more you know. I mean, I think it's good. Because right? it's something you get to learn and out, share it out so other people don't make the same mistake. <laughs> yeah, don't don't make that mistake. Can you make the guy's voice louder? I, I just made it louder. Make me yeah. louder, games. I was trying to save their ears. No. <laughs> right, if they wanted to hear me, they would have just gone to my channel. That's true. Speaking of which, what? Where's your channel link? I was gonna send it. Let me grab it real quick. Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to uh, Shappy. He's streaming tomorrow, so. Damn. I'm actually pretty excited. Like, I scheduled it out in advance, so it should work out all right. Yeah, That's it has to happen now. Yeah. yeah, if I don't show up, everyone's going to be like, Shappy, what the hell? <laughs> well, I wish I could be there, because I'll be at work. But I'll definitely rewatch it, because I want to see... Maybe I'll need a um, uh, bus driver to come help me out. I think you should have him on, dude. He's a small YouTuber, but he's smart. And he knows yeah, I yeah definitely. If if uh, I mean, I definitely need more help with this because there's way too much to look at. Cool. And I still have seventy five transmutation the, stones. So the eight video thing is um, includes streams. Like this counts for you, but it also will count for me. I have that other video going out on Thursday. Oh, nice. I'm on track. We're going to try and get sponsored, y'all. Yeah. You should be able to do it. Once you set your mind on the eight, it's super easy. That's the thing is I was so focused on getting the shorts out last month that I didn't even think about it. Yeah, I mean, live streams definitely help. Like if you have like a free hour, like just really do anything. You could do account reviews. You could do really anything opening keys i just made a video on that but I or just like have, a um, q a with shappy like that would count as a video you'll have that idea i think i told you and plato about it months ago of a surprise account review mm -hmm. where i where i like gray out my icon and all my and all that and i just send people pictures of my commanders and oh stuff. you should like, totally do that I need to figure out who my victim's going to be. It was going to be Spartan, but he wasn't able to figure it out timing-wise. I think it'd be funny to get, like, Omniarch. <laughs> oh, he's a good one. Because you know that he'd be super nice about it, too. Oh, totally. Because he's, like, the friendliest guy ever. <laughs> or uh, Daddy Furious would be a good one. Furious would roast me. You'd be like, this account is garbage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he does tell the truth quite frequently, so I could see that. <laughs> it depends on if I want someone to roast me or if I want someone to be nice. Either way, I think it would be entertaining. 
you could you could do both and then like uh make a video of it and be like how um like a, a large content creator treats its audience and how a small content creator treats his audience well the funny thing is i could probably do the same video twice and i don't think that either of them well furious might know but i don't think omniarch will i don't know that he watches me yeah i don't know i mean i don't know how much he watches that's a good question he's been in a couple of my live streams every once in a while watch omni arcs like secretly lurking <laughs> i was gonna say watch and be like what's up guys <laughs> this is a great idea <laughs> <laughs> i support this idea <laughs> you're like well never mind <laughs> <laughs> okay with any luck chisgle's listening and his next video will be surprise a counter view uh-huh <laughs> that'd be hilarious tell me it hasn't happened all right well i'm gonna go try to eat hopefully my food poisoning's done i sincerely hope so because i need to go to work tomorrow so but I uh, appreciate you being on Shappy. If you guys are not subscribed to Shappy yet, make sure you do give him a subscribe. He is streaming tomorrow at 2130 UTC. So be sure to go check out his channel. He'll be doing a similar video or live stream as what we did today of, you know, fixing armaments and all that kind of stuff. So if you enjoyed this live stream, you'll enjoy his. So definitely go check his channel out. Thank but you thanks again, Shappy, for, uh, for having uh, or for, for being on here. Thanks, Gaines. All right. See you, man. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed for more content. First live stream in a while. Um, great to have extra people on here, too, because it you know makes it more, more enjoyable for, for all of us, in my opinion. So thanks, for everybody, that was here. Appreciate all of your guys' feedback in the, the comments as well. It makes it way easier for me to stream when people are talking back, you know. So appreciate all of you. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more content. I'm um, definitely going to be prioritizing shorts uh, as well. So if you guys like the, the Rise of Kingdoms memes, be sure to uh, check out my shorts on YouTube. Um, I, I think they're absolutely hilarious, but <laughs> feel free to check those out. But have a great rest of your night, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.